it's with classic passive solar design, lots of cross ventilation. The stair tower is a big heat chimney that lets out any kind of heat that we gain. Rooms are, in certain cases, purposely a little bit ambiguous, so they could be used as a den, a bedroom, an office. Um, I would say in general, the idea of the bedrooms is that they're for sleeping. And so they're purposely just big enough to make it comfortable for a normal sized bed with enough room to circulate around it because on the small footprint, we wanted to have as much space as possible for the big rooms. In order to make a smallish bedroom feel bigger, the moving partition solves that great because at times it's just the size you need to have a nice private bedroom, at other times it's part of a bigger room. She does definitely most of the cooking, but I I would out. say right now it's me, but we do love cooking together. Yeah. So, um, you know, when we get a chance to do it together, it's, um, it's much easier and better. Much more fun. Yeah. Our best dishes is yeah. hand handmade pasta, ravioli. If you got four hours, we'll make them. <laughs> I can, you know, you can get up, you can be sitting here, you can talk, you know, so this is like the big sitting room. This is also the big living room. It's all, you know, so it's just the time of day that changes and I can use the same space for so many different things. The transparency of the stair is actually really interesting because you can see people as they're walking up it from the underside of the stair. You can see people from the living room perspective as they're as they're traveling up it. A stair, by definition, is a is a moving floor plane. Essentially, it keeps on rising up or down, however, whichever way you want to look at it. And most floor planes are either occupied with static objects, furniture, or uses, or they're pathways. And if they're pathways, they have to be intentionally left clear. And a stair has the unique ability to, because it bends that floor plane, allows itself to be more visible as a sculpture, still be the pathway. And if the stair becomes wide enough, there's even possible uh, areas that you can hang out in and, and be static, so to speak, you know, and stay there. Our dog sits up yeah, there all the time. Yeah, he suns himself on the stairs and, and hangs out there. The, the roof deck is rather large. It's as big or if not bigger of any courtyard that we could have had on the ground floor. And it has these benefits that because it's raised up from the street, it's a lot more private and, and therefore much more intimate to the occupants that are here, you know? So it wasn't, what would you like it to look like it? What would you like it to be? That was never the discussion. It was much more always purposely, how do you like to live? What would you like to see? I really wanted to make sure that everyone was comfortable in this space. It's, it's a precision that I think you, you feel more as you experience the building than, than you really see. It makes a difference on how, how right everything feels. I love living here. I'm so happy with so many of the decisions that were made and so on, but there were so many other neat ideas that we came across that I had to give up because they just didn't fit. And so if I got another lot this size, I've got the head start because I've already got seven other great ideas already coming. If I were to start that right now today, it would be nothing like any of those seven. It would be something completely different again.